Hi, welcome back and in today's video we'll be comparing two robots with Xiaomi Roots, the Biomi V3 and the Roborock S5 Max. So these two products are the best mopping robot vacuums I've tested so far. The S5 Max was one of the first robots to have the electronic water tank and the V3 utilizes short back and forth movements similar to an iRobot Brava, giving it better agitation than most robots that use straight line patterns. To start, we'll look at the design. Both the S5 Max and Biomi V3 have round frames. The units I got have a predominantly black finish with matte and glossy areas. Biomi only has one color option, while the S5 Max has two, a black and white option. Both have the LiDAR sensor on top with two buttons. The S5 Max's buttons are above the LiDAR, while the V3's buttons are at the opposite end. The dust containers of both vacuums is loaded from the top. Biomi's bin is slightly larger at 550 ml compared to the 480 ml capacity of the S5 Max. Aesthetically, I like the matte finish of the V3 bin compared to the transparent design of the S5 Max, plus it has this thin filter sheet that blocks stuff like dust from sticking on the HEPA filter, so it's easier to clean. The S5 Max doesn't have this feature, so dust bunnies will stick on the main filter. Both vacuums have a single side brush and combo brush. The V3's main brush is closer to the front than the S5 Max brush row, but this relocation doesn't make the V3 better than the S5 Max at cleaning dirt, especially on carpet, which I'll explain later on. Also, the V3 side brush has bristled tips, while the S5 Max side brush is all rubber, which I think is more durable. Next, we look at navigation, and there are similarities between these two. First similarity is both use slam and lighter to track and pinpoint location. Each robot will start cleaning the edges before moving in the middle portions in straight lines. But the similarities end here. The S5 Max is more thorough and can go around up to 3 times. In contrast, the V3 can only go around up to 2 times. Plus you'll need to turn on the secondary cleaning feature for it to do a second pass. Both vacuums are adept at navigating around obstacles and don't smash into them hard. It slows down and nudges objects instead of bumping into them at full speed. Traversing around tight quarters is another strength of the V3 and S5 Max. I didn't have any issues with either moving around chair legs. But you still have to clear those wires as these robots will not avoid them. Users have the option to save multiple maps with these two. The S5 Max can save up to 4 and the V3 can save up to 5 map levels. However, I like that the S5 Max has a quick start guide which basically walks you through the process of creating a new map, step by step. The V3 doesn't have this feature, so after running the robot on a different location, you'll have to save it manually or wait for a prompt asking you if you want to save. So there's no need to transfer the dock when moving the robot to another floor level. The S5 Max will detect the correct map based on the initial scan, while the V3 doesn't have this capability, so you'll have to manually select the correct map if you move it to another level. These robot vacuums are really close when it comes to airflow and here are the results. The S5 Max has slightly more with up to 17174 CFM compared to the 17 CFM of the V3. However, the difference is negligible and shouldn't be a deciding factor between these two robots. Unfortunately, the V3 doesn't clean as well as the S5 Max on all surfaces. It struggles most on carpet where it didn't make clean passes unlike the S5 Max. One reason I think why it struggles on this surface is the sloping rear end. You'll notice a slight arch at the rear portion of the robot as it traverses on carpet. Since robot vacuums don't have as much airflow as stick or upright vacuums, it relies heavily on its brush rope to pick up debris, so any deviation will mess up its cleaning dynamics, which is the case for the V3 on carpet. If you look underneath, the S5 Max's brush assembly has a spring-loaded system, while the V3 does not. This movement helps the brush stay connected on the surface at all times. In comparison, the V3 brush hole is in a fixed position, so agitation is compromised. It struggled most in the deep cleaning test where it picked up only 12.5%, easily the worst score of all the robot vacuums I've tested so far. I did the test several times just to make sure it wasn't a fluke, but the low score was consistent. The S5 Max did much better with an average pickup of 84.75%, but 
way higher than the V3. It doesn't have the sloping issue as the V3, so its brushes keep in contact with the surface at all times. Passes were cleaner and it didn't struggle with heavier debris like Pet Leader, Quaker Oats, or large debris like Cheerios and Fruit Loops. Overall, the S5 Max is the better alternative between the two for cleaning surface or embedded dirt on carpet. The V3 did much better on hard floors. Cleaning debris small and large isn't a concern despite having one less pass around the area. It can pick up sand, Quaker Oats, quinoa, and large stuff like Cheerios and Fruit Loops cleanly. Results were very close in the sand on hard floor test. The S5 Max was slightly better with a near-perfect 99.8% score. The V3 isn't far behind with a 99.6% score, but in the max setting, it picked up 100%. So both vacuums are excellent options for cleaning sand on hard surfaces. The S5 Max was better in the hair wrap test, with fewer strands of hair wrapping on a brush roll on both surfaces, while the V3 didn't do as well with more hair wrapping on the brush after the hard floor test and it struggled picking up pet hair on carpet. Edge cleaning is close with both vacuums able to pick up most of the debris in this area. As I've said in the intro, both the S5 Max and the Viomi V3 are among the best robot vacuums I've tested so far in terms of mopping stains. Each has an electronic water tank giving users the option to control how much water flows through. The S5 Max has 5 levels of flow, while the V3 only has 3. The V3 comes with 2 water tanks out of the box a 2-in-1 container that also doubles as a dustbin for vacuuming and mopping, plus a larger 550ml water tank for mopping only tasks. The S5 Max only comes with one 290ml water tank. Loading the water tank is different between these two. The S5 Max loads from the back so there is no need to remove the dust container. The V3 tank loads from the top in the same area as a dustbin. It also has a bigger pad than the S5 Max, but one gripe I have is you'll have to move the robot from the top to attach it, which isn't the case for the S5 Max that loads at the opposite end of the charging base, so there's less hassle. The biggest difference between these two is the way it mops. The S5 Max does it in straight overlapping lines, while the V3 gives users the option to select the Y pattern, where the robot goes in short back and forth movements similar to an iRobot Brava. This motion gives the V3 better agitation and slightly better results than the S5 Max with stain removal on hard surfaces. It was able to clean all of the red wine stains on tile with very minimal streaks. I didn't have to do a second run or manually mop it. The impressive part for me is how it was able to do it in one less pass. However, the Y pattern will take longer and uses up more water. I filled up the 550ml water tank halfway and the V3 used up all of it in this small area. The S5 Max also did well mopping thanks to its thoroughness going around the area thrice. Since it only goes in straight lines, it will be more efficient with water usage and the run ends sooner than the V3. So it can mop a larger area despite having a smaller water tank if you compare it to the V3 using the Z pattern. The S5 Max will run longer, up to 180 minutes, thanks to the larger 5200 mAh lithium ion battery. In comparison, the V3 will run for up to 150 minutes with its smaller 4900 mAh battery. However, I don't think runtime matters much with smart navigating robot vacuums unless you live in a big 4000 square foot mansion, because these are very efficient and both have recharge and resume. So if it doesn't finish cleaning and the battery runs low, it will resume cleaning at the exact same area it left previously. The V3 is slightly noisier based on the sound meter test, ranging between 59.4 and 66.4 decibels, while the S5 Max is quieter with a max of 62.4 decibels. Both vacuums are compatible with the Xiaomi Home app, but the interface is very different. You'll notice the V3 shows the three different modes in the main screen, vacuum, vacuum and mop, and mop only. As you toggle between these options, sub-options will appear right below. The S5 Max app doesn't immediately show these options. You'll need to tap on the mode settings icons at the lower right first before these options appear. It provides users with more customization features so you can alter vacuum and mop settings on a per room basis, something that's not available with the Viomi app. I like that the S5 Max app allows users to zoom the map real close, which isn't possible with the V3 app where there's a limit on how much you can zoom in. Not really a big deal, but it can be a hassle when setting virtual walls or restricted zones on the map if you have issues with your eyesight. Both apps have convenience features such as invisible wall and no-go zones, though Viomi uses a different terminology for it. 
The V3 doesn't have the no map zone, but I don't think it's a big issue since the restricted area feature will provide similar functionality. You can save multiple maps in both the S5 Max and Viomi V3 app with the option to name rooms, add virtual walls, and no-go zones. However, the S5 Max app provides extra functionality with the option to customize power and water levels and sequence the cleaning order so you can control which room the robot cleans first. Each app enables users to schedule unlimited cleanups per day, but the S5 Max app provides extra options as you'll see on screen. You can ask it to clean daily, on weekdays, weekends, or specific days of the week, so it has more flexibility. To conclude this comparison, the Rover on S5 Max is the better product overall when you factor in navigation, app features, and how well it cleans hard floors and carpets. It was able to make clean passes regardless of surface, and its Como brush resists tangles better than the V3 brush. The only advantage the V3 has over the S5 Max is its mopping capabilities. It provides users the option to choose the Y pattern that instructs the robot to go in short back and forth movements, which gives the V3 better results on cleaning dried stains on surfaces like tiles. If you have any questions about these robots, please leave them in the comment section and I'll answer them ASAP. For more information about these two products, please check the links down below. Like and subscribe if this video has been helpful to you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.